Hello everybody, my name is Andrei Cerba and you are watching another drawing tutorial. Um, today I want to talk a bit about facial expressions, particularly when we're talking about cartoons and when you're drawing in a cartoony style, how do we convey facial expressions in a relatable manner? If you've been following my work, you probably know that I do this weekly animated show over on youtube.com slash sourcefednerd and uh, what I've learned from doing this show for what feels like almost a year now um, is that facial expressions matter. They, they are the most important thing, when, particularly in animation. And even more so when we're talking about a, a very minimalistic cartoony style. Uh, so what I'm going to do today I, is I've, I've prepared a bunch of uh, blank heads over here. If you know who this is, this is Steve Zaragoza. If you do not know, it doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a generic. Um, just look at it as a generic head uh, that I've replicated nine times. And um, I'm going to go through each one of these blank nine blank heads. And I'm going to put a different expression on it. Um, I've uh, prepared some labels over here. Uh, we've got nine different expressions. So, let's go through all of them really quick. Neutral, happy, laughing. Bored, sad, crying. Annoyed, angry, shouting. Now, what you may be noticing is that these kind of sound synonymous, some of them. But they're actually not, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see as we go through all of them how these can be portrayed in different ways and how that matters and why that matters so much. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna hide the labels for now, and I'm gonna go in uh, over here on the neutral one, the first one, and I'm going to draw in the. Um, the eyes. Uh, the I've actually done a uh, video on how to draw this particular character. Uh, you can find it on my channel, uh, along with all the other SourceFed hosts. If you uh, if you follow them, if you don't, then just don't worry about it. It's just a regular um, cartoony character, uh, just to make uh, to make sure that we understand what we're doing here uh, the characters do not have noses and this style that I use they do not have noses they're just eyes mouth and eyebrows and the challenge with that is that you've got these minimalistic facial features that kind of limit you in a way but they also give you the advantage of using these minimalistic features in uh sorry i'm i'm having a little trouble with this eyebrow over here okay so what was i saying uh yes we, we do not have a nose we only have eyes mouth eyebrows and we are using these minimalistic features to convey expressions now this is a neutral kind of smiley uh expression over here on the second one we're gonna do i think it was a happy expression. Let's see. How do we convey happy? Uh, well, first of all, we have the uh, the eyes. The thing that's different uh, for the eyes is that the lower eyelid is kind of pushing the the cheek. I mean, the cheek is kind of pushing the lower eyelid a little up which gives this character this expression of kind of like squinting a little bit but only with the lower part the mouth is open we we see the the teeth are being are being exposed because he is smiling a mistake would be to show both let me let me first of all let me do this uh, a mistake would be to show the teeth like this this I don't think I mean you could do it this way but I don't feel like this is a genuine smile a genuine 
happy expression. I feel like when you're happy, you kind of there's kind of this space between the upper teeth and the lower teeth, and I typically just don't even show the the upper teeth. I just show the lower teeth, and depending on the angle, we could show the uh, the upper teeth instead of the lower teeth. But that's a, that's a, a detail that doesn't really doesn't really matter right now. And the the eyebrows are a little higher than. Um, in the neutral uh, facial expression because he is raising his eyebrows along with the, the entire face is just being lifted the uh, the the cheeks the, the 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 wide smile is pushing the cheeks upwards which is pushing the lower lids upwards and the eyebrows along with everything else the the whole face lightens up and goes slightly in an upward direction not necessarily in terms of position but in terms of you know just the way it looks the, the way it feels everything just lightens up and goes upwards uh, now over here we have the laughing um, the laughing expression one thing that we're gonna do differently right now is we're gonna tilt the head a little uh, in this direction. We're gonna tilt it to the left and the reason for that is because if well right now we don't have uh, the benefit of drawing the body we're, the body language is also very important but it, while we only have the the head we're tilting the head a little bit in this direction because he is kind of hunched over maybe holding his stomach while laughing his eyes are closed Oh, I was drawing on the wrong layer. Sorry about that. <laughs> His eyes are closed tightly. And you can see that he can't... He's probably laughing out loud, rolling on the floor laughing. The, the mouth is much wider. Maybe now we would see both, uh, both the lower and the upper teeth because hold on I'm gonna have to redraw this okay so the mouth is wider and maybe we can see both the teeth because he is just his mouth is so wide that we can see everything inside of it <laughs> and beyond um, and in this instance, instead of having the the eyebrows upwards, I mean, we could have them upwards, but we could even make him kind of like as if he were frowning, but he's frowning because he's just laughing so hard. But trying not to make it a mean frown. So the idea is to kind of have the the eyebrows go down and then a little bit back up. Maybe add some lines over here because the 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 skin is being you know the uh, tightened into this area uh making these folds over here. Okay, so that's laughing, happy and neutral. Now we're going to the second level, which is um, bored, bored, and then sappy, uh, sad, sappy. What's sappy? <laughs> bored, sad, and crying. Um, let's hide the labels once again and uh, do a bored um, expression. The thing that uh, conveys bored is very much in the eyes. Uh, the the upper lids, the upper eyelids, are are very much hanging over the eyes. He is like very expressionless. That conveys expressiveness, expresslessness. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> uh, and the same with the other eye. There you go. 
and maybe the mouth it, we could either like make a, a a straight line for the mouth or even a slightly curved to towards the uh, downwards the eyebrows could either be um, we could have him frown a little bit but I feel like the the idea over here is to have everything on a horizontal line you can see that the eyelids are parallel with the the uh, the um, the the rim of the glasses the eyebrows are once again horizontal parallel with the eyelids and the mouth i guess we could make it uh, horizontal just to keep that same principle and w one thing of note is that the the mouth is not not wide it's just really really narrow very exp very expressionless just really really bored um, moving on to the sad expression uh, let's hide the labels just to make some uh, some room um, and uh, what makes the character sad uh, let's see we have the eye We could do once again the the um, the cheeks pushing up the uh, the eyelid, but in this instance, I don't think it's the cheeks pushing up the eyelids. It's actually just the eyes just squinting on their own because because the character is just sad and it's just squinting not really squinting but kind of pushing the lower eyelid upward the um, the eyebrows are of course arched in this direction hanging really low close to the eyeglass the the top rim of the eyeglasses uh, and the mouth is uh, we could either um, wave the mouth a little bit or we could just leave it um, l r just a simple uh, arch in this uh, in this direction now moving on to the the next one the crying expression uh, this is similar to the um, the first one but it's just a little more exaggerated the eyebrows are arched a little more we see again the folds in the forehead just like we had over here with the laughing expression maybe this time the eye, uh, the eyebrows are actually touching the 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 level of the eyeglasses we have once again the lower eyelid pushing that eye only now we have something different happening over here and I'm gonna tell you in a second what's different is that we have we could have of course we could just uh, these uh, these um, tears on the lower part of the eye what happened there okay there you go uh, so there's these tears and this time the mouth is kind of wavery kind of jittery kind of like this and we could add these lines under the 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 corners of the eyes to just convey that that real sad real like the really sad crying expression and we could even add these lines in his uh, in his chin 
that could if we're if, if we were to animate this the these lines would really move like you know how when you're uh, when you're crying like the 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 lower part of your face just is trembling and jittery <laughs> um, okay I feel like the, the the crying expression can be conveyed in multiple ways but uh, that's that's one of them I guess all of them would be have multiple ways to be portrayed but uh, the principles kind of stay the same now moving on to the annoyed um, expression we have once again the uh, upper eyelids just like we had in the board expression parallel with this line over here the eyes hold on yep the eyes are kind of low very very similar to the the board expression except for the eyebrows and the mouth which we're going to which we're getting to in just a little bit the eyebrows are coming down in this direction maybe forming a little um, a little fold over here in between and the 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 mouth is kind of arched a little bit this way and then the corners go down on both sides we could also add these lines just in the same way uh, that we had in the crying expression maybe we could even add the the lower eyelid and make him really like squint with both eyelids uh, because he is very annoyed we do not know what he's annoyed by but uh, we know that he's annoyed the next one is the angry one now what's different over here the was different is that we're pushing that annoyed expression a little more and right now the lower eyelid is pushing the eye upward but the upper eyelid is no longer just sitting there the eyes are very much alive he's angry and the the mouth is much more um, uh, much more accentuated in the same way you can see these are very very similar I forgot to add the the lines over here frowning and the eye uh, the the mouth is very similar except uh, it's more accentuated the principle is the same um, moving on to the final one the shouting one once again we're gonna use the same principle as before as in uh, the laughing <clears throat> in the laughing expression we're gonna tilt it down a little bit uh, and we're going to do this the eyes all of a sudden become smaller we're gonna give him make him look in this direction he's presumably shouting at somebody the eyebrows are very much arched downwards the uh, 
the the folds over here are much more accentuated everything is more accentuated and there's something else happening with the eyes there's a line over here over to the side of the eye the mouth is so big he is shouting off the top of his lungs we could show his upper teeth but I feel like uh, just showing the lower uh, the lower teeth makes it a little more expressive and uh, relatable I think we can even take this whole thing and tilt it a little more I'm very tempted to draw a body this is I just I just feel like you know you feel like you feel that expression you kinda want to like draw the body over here the the shoulders kinda going up Yeah, you get it. I'm not. I'm not gonna draw the body, but when you when you draw one of these expressions that you that it's really hitting that point, you, you just you just feel it. Um, so these are the nine expressions that we've drawn. I I could of course draw some more, but um, this is just a, a little taste of. Uh, what goes into drawing expressions you can see that the the same elements you've got just three elements I guess five if you count the fact that there's two eyes and two eyebrows but three basic elements the eyes the eyebrows and the mouth which you're using in a different way in all of these nine instances and making uh, making them look slightly different and in combination they all just create this completely different expression so next time you're either animating or just drawing uh, a still expression maybe just use some of these principles and incorporate them into your drawing um, I hope this was useful I hope you found it uh, informative in some way if you did let me know in the comments shoot this video a like uh, if you haven't subscribe uh, subscribe already do it I'll be very much uh, I would appreciate it but in any case I'm gonna end this video right about here and I'm probably gonna um, join I'm probably gonna um, do another tutorial uh, soon so I hope you'll join us in uh, talking about whatever it is that we're gonna be discussing in any case I'm gonna end it thank you for watching and I'll see you later